Well, welcome back to another episode. Uh, my voice is still gone uh, like, like it was yesterday. It's currently 6.30 in the morning. Uh, we've been driving for about 30 minutes or, not, or so. Uh, today, my friend Ashley and I are going to be doing some saltwater fishing. Which is something that I don't do often. I've never saltwater fished up north before. I've only saltwater fished in Florida, so I'm very excited about that. Well, anyways, um, we're going to see how much fish we can catch today. Hopefully, we can have a nice uh, nice bag full of fish to bring home at the end of the day. <laughs> My voice is so bad. I'm trying to speak normal, but I can't because it's just like bad. Uh, Are you really going to do this? Here's this. Are you yeah. serious? We're in a 50. <laughs> it's kind of I just soft. had to drop to 30. Don't be like that, Jeep. You get anywhere near mass, and I'm telling you. It's real. We don't do that up in New Hampshire. Yeah. Wait until I start driving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm also going to see you at the boat. So, goodbye. It's hard to tell. That? It's hard to tell. Or my bait. Yeah, maybe I do. Yeah, I do. Let's see here. Got some wake to it. It's so much line. I know. It's fun though. Use a lighter deck. I know. If I had a bigger rod, I wouldn't feel very big. Yeah, you got a redfish. Two. There you go. What the heck? Oh, I Never just... caught these before. Yeah, well, that one's a keeper. That one's dead. It really? Yep. Wow. On the fluke. It's like a rock bass. So, is our cooler we got? This little guy. <laughs> He's got to go back. He's going to die. It's pretty cool. Never caught one before. Just put, yeah. Nice setup for a first time fishing. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just a bass fisherman. Yeah. This is my bass rod and stuff. Be a ten pounder. Is that a keeper? Yeah, that's another nine. Get in the boat. Oh. Wait, like bugs work for you a couple times, huh? Yeah, the fluke there. Got both of them. Pearl flukes. <laughs> Fast fishing lures. Throw off or flop right here. <laughs> If you put 20 ounce weight on there, you catch one on a water flopper. Yeah, they, they catch them in uh, fresh water too, though. Really? It's a fresh water cusk, yeah. Oh. Catch them at night when we ice fish sometimes. There you go. There he is. Cusk. I hope so.
throwing up outside the window. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a nice keeper. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh, that's solid. Oh, is that a keeper too? <laughs> yeah. It's a good fish. What's this? Is that a Those things are legal? It's too this bad. That's a good haddock. That's cool. So all these things are legal and I can't eat them. They look pretty cool though. Nice fish. I have a big one on too. That's a good four pounds. That's holy <laughs> so sad to throw them back. <laughs> See you in a month. Look at that thing. This is a good fish. We got a good one on. Yeah, this is a good fish. Come on, be something different. Uh, I just snagged it. Yeah, I fell hooked it. I don't know why I felt so. Oh, it felt so That's big. That's why it feels so big. Yeah. Should try a craw, a red craw? Go for it. <laughs> People don't think I'm retarded. Catch a ten pound cusk now. <laughs> so funny. Well, let's catch a fish on a, a rage tail craw in the ocean. <laughs> 300 feet of water. See if this is possible. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm doing it. Some people put grubs on there though. I'm doing this, okay? Here is called the, the fluke jig red so craw rake. Slow before we Straight break. Just waiting to mark fish on the spot. Yeah. So he has marked fish here. So the first one to get down the bottom. Better chance. Look at my rig. People probably think I'm an idiot, but I'm catching a lot of fish. Only 160. I could grab my phone. Do it. Get in here. That is the food. Thank you. He ate the he ate the, the fluke. Okay, good job, buddy. That's a good keeper too. Is it a keeper? Yeah. Yep, for sure. We have 13. Yeah. 
Oh, that's with the fluke on the bottom too. That's what I got the last one on there too. They love the fluke, <laughs> I'm telling you. These fish are like that's bass. Cool. It's basically a smallmouth. He was a hungry craw eater. Look at him on the craw. Right there, folks. You look so tasty. We're coming back in April. Oh. Feels doesn't feel that very big, so hopefully it's a red. It's pooping neon green poop. <laughs> Must like green green power bait. Ten pounder. With the world record redfish, though. Ah, uh, mine's right there. That's a that's a that's the oh, fish we need. Get the thing up in the. <laughs> Where is it? Look what he ate too. <laughs> yeah, he ate the crawl. Thank you. I was fooling around with this fish. Get in here. Grab the line so you don't break the rod. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Drop the poles, we found him. Now you look goofy. No. Yes. Look at this. I'll catch a 10 pounder now. And a, another fish on it too. Two fish. What? Oh, I felt so heavy. Is that your line? I thought I got the fish. Nope, can't lift those. Yeah, let him grab the call again. I got it, I think. You gotta make... Yeah, just rub his belly just a little bit. That on the craw. And a cod, something I only caught one of today. Come on. Yes, how big how many pounds is that? Three and a half, four probably.
Okay, this is the last fish of the day. He's pooping all over here. That's what we got for food tonight. My voice is still gone. Just tonight? <laughs> That's dinner for the week. Yummy. We caught him on cross, flukes, that thing. This yeah. thing, clam, uh, grubs, we caught them on everything. Big ones though, definitely came on the fluke on this. Just like that, I'm back here at the house after fishing. It's actually a few days um, after I actually fished. I had a great time out there with my friend Asher. I caught three new species and along with a total of about 50 fish. Um, so it was awesome. I didn't put all the fish in the video as, you know, obviously yeah, there's only probably about 20 fish in the video today. If you didn't know what kind of fish we caught, the little orange fish that we ended up eating um, are called redfish. Here's a picture of one right here. And uh, those are, you know, what we were kind of after because we could eat them. But alongside those, we caught um, haddock, which were the bigger fish that we caught a lot of. Uh, here's a picture here. Um, and also uh, cod. Um, I ended up catching two cod. I think I actually caught a couple as well. Um, those are pretty awesome fish. They actually got kind of big, which I thought was pretty awesome. And the reason why we did not keep the cod in the haddock, and, uh, which is actually the main reason why we went out there, is to keep those two species of fish. But unfortunately, um, because it's still early April, we were unable to keep the fish. Um, but we are allowed to keep the fish in two weeks from now on the 15th, which is kind of annoying. So we're definitely going to have to go back out there this year to target those fish again and to keep them. Because we would have had like tons of fish because we caught so many of those haddock. And anyways, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a like. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the little notification bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get a notification every time I post a YouTube video, either by email or by actual like notifications like a text on your phone. And if you haven't seen my last saltwater fishing video when I was in southwest Florida fishing off the beach and I caught a bunch of new species, check the video out. It's right here in the corner. Um, and other than that, have a good night.